Single engine versus twin engines. This is the number one question we get when building out an Axle Park 29. So my buddy Ben Sheffer and I are out here in Casco Bay, Maine. We're gonna do a top gear style comparison between the Axle Park 29 cross cabin with the single Mercury V10 400. And then Ben's gonna be on the boat with the twin Mercury 200s. So again, this is the number one question that we get uh, when people are specking out their new 29s. So we want to address that head on and help you make the best decision when you're buying your new axle car. All right, so before we get underway here, we'll talk about a few of the difference just visually and aesthetically here between the twins and the single. Looking at both of these, the, the single V10 is a much, much taller motor versus the twin 200s. Um, we do have this taller tow bar that you get, whether you get singles or twins but this is just a beefier, bigger looking engine versus the twins. Totally up to you whether you like one versus the other. The biggest advantage to the single in terms of what you get here is this big sort of extended swim platform. You can see this molded piece right here. You get about 10, 10 inches uh, more beam here on each swim platform. So it is pretty significant versus the twins. Obviously you have a little bit less annual maintenance cost with a single engine versus twins. That's obviously something to consider if you're looking to you know, save a little money in the off season. You're definitely gonna pay less to your boat yard by uh, just servicing one motor versus two. The biggest advantage people say with the twin engines, uh, duplicate system. So having two outboards, if you have a problem with one, something goes awry, you have that second motor to get you home. I won't have that on the single. And then maneuverability. So uh, being able to put my throttles opposite and spin the boat without using the bow thruster. The twin engine boat is more maneuverable. I don't have a problem with the single. Most people don't, but um, that is a factor. But the big part about this video is performance. So how do these boats perform off the dock, on the water, if I'm cruising at 30 knots, or if I want top end speed, or if I want torque or whole shot, which of these two power packages should I order? How should I spend my money if I'm gonna be buying a brand new Axle Par 29? And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I think now's the time to get behind the helm and fire these bad boys up and uh, see what happens on the open water. Let her rip. I'm actually like excited. Yeah, right? <laughs> like I got a little tingle. <laughs> All right, you wanna do the hand countdown, Porter? Yeah, I got it here. Um, I'm wanna, in neutral. I don't want you getting any more extra space on me. We're racing for pink slips here. Uh, That's right. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right. All uh, right. Dude, you got a much better hole shot. Yeah. I've got a really good grip on the water at these low speeds right now. Definitely have that going. I'm going to start trimming my engines now. Yep. Um, I'm going to start trimming gonna, mine up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trimming up a bit. All right. I'm starting to catch back up to you. Yeah, you are. I'm at 45 knots so far. Where are you at? Yeah, 47 knots. All right, I'm trimmed up to 1.3, and I am at 46 knots. Oh, I got some big swell here. Oh, yeah. Oh man, right. she's sporting. Good man. I'm at yeah, I'm at 46, 47 knots. Yeah, I'm sitting right at about 46, honestly. All right, I'm gonna turn to port. Um, All right, and turn around. Let's do some uh, fun stuff. I'm doing the same. What did you think of that drag race, Mike? Dude, I thought, you know, you obviously had a better hole shot, and uh, uh, super interesting that um, I was able to catch back up, though. Um, I know. I, think I did a knot better speed than you did on top end. Um, yep. But, you know, with a clean bottom, that might have been different. Well, that was uh, definitely a very insightful run with these two boats. I'm feeling like uh, 
We are right at about the same top speed, but in terms of being able to grab and really start moving quickly at a lower RPM, I think I think that uh, this boat might take the cake. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think the proof is it's so minute between the two at cruising speed. You're gonna, you know, slightly more efficient with the twins, but really negligible. And we're talking about really nothing on the top end and not faster for this boat. I bet they're dead even with two clean bottoms. So it's really a toss up in terms of performance for the single 400 versus the twin 200. So twin 200 is a little bit more expensive up front, a little bit more expensive in the long run, but um, you know, really uh, you do get that extra maneuverability around the dock having all the back up there with the second outboard. I think that's more or anything. And you know, shoot, if you got young kids, two bigger swim platforms might be the ticker for you too. So, all right, cool. I'll do this, shake hands. Oh. That was a good one. That was a great one. Oh. How'd she feel? Oh, dude, this boat's awesome. I love the single. You know, the, the twins seem to be a bit more efficient especially at that lower speed. I gotta say, as a traditional twin guy, that single definitely surprised me. I know it's 400 horses and a V10, but she caught right back up after I really started to pull away, so. Thank you all for watching the first Top Gear inspired Axopar demo. Hopefully a lot more to come. If you have any questions about the Axopar 29, please feel free to reach out to us at East Coast Yacht Sales. My name is Mike Porter. And I'm Ben Sheffer. Thanks for watching.